If you could get paid about $40,000 a year, see the country, and work without constant micromanaging, would you do it? Millions of people are saying yes, and they are turning to a career field that, in the past, let's face it, may have had a bad rap. No matter their background or education, they are getting their hands on the wheel of a big rig and finding new freedom on the open road. They are corporate America. They are nurses. They are war veterans. They've been laid off. And now, they want to be truck drivers. I've been unemployed for about a year now. David Wine Miller is a Tucson guy, war veteran, and without work. People One Stop helped him navigate over to Pima Community College to learn to drive a truck. Rhonda Linda Mood and her husband got laid off at the same time. What did you do before this? I worked at a company here in town um, building solar panels. That didn't work out. So it well. didn't work out, no. Yeah. They, they laid off quite a few people. And Nisi Baker, well, she saw a lot after 15 years in the Army. You're a nurse. I am. So how does the military experience and your nursing experience come together here in truck driving? Well, what are you doing? What I came here for was to be able to incorporate them both. All three of these Tucsonans are like nearly four million Americans who have decided they want a life and a career on the open road. Do they not look like the stereotypical trucker? Instructor Sandy McCoskey knows why. You have uh, folks who have been white collar workers, uh, everything from an engineer to uh, a nurse to corporate executives right. to people you even said to me who were just recently homeless. Right, right. It's it's just such a broad range, and there you know there's people who uh, I would say probably 30, maybe 30 percent of our people have bachelor's degrees or degrees in other areas. The way this class of future haulers sees it, after a 30-day course, they are instantly employed. There's a huge demand right now for truck drivers. There are 300,000 jobs open nationwide. The average salary in Pima County for a truck driver is right at 40 grand. But the training isn't easy, and not for anyone who's hesitant behind the wheel. The road course tests every aspect of a driver's knowledge, and seriously? When do you ever really have to parallel park I a hope, big rig? I hope never. I hope <laughs> never. But after the road training and the classroom instruction over the course of a month, the goal is within reach. I'm just glad to be working again, knowing that I'm going to come out of this and being, being with a good, solid job again. What's your outlook for the future now? More money. Some money in your pocket and an adventure. It's a great adventure to go out on the road and get to see the United States, places I've never been. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it. This newest class of CDL holders has bonded. The only question still lingering What can I do next? What's my next challenge? My next goal? So it makes you feel empowered. It does. It really does.